you are living with pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, or suspect that you are living with either, here are three tests to take. The third one is the most important. Number one, you can take it home or the doctor's office, and it's called your fasting blood sugar level. This is a very easy and inexpensive way to indicate your level of insulin resistance. When you're fasting, no food has gone into your system for the last 10 to 12 hours. So any excess glucose in your bloodstream will come directly from your liver. If your liver is insulin resistant, then these levels will be elevated. Ideally, your fasting values should be below 100 milligrams per deciliter. Number two, your A1C. This one is best done at the doctor's office. However, there are some at-home A1C kits you could purchase from the pharmacy. This is an important test to measure your average values for the last three months. It takes into account your highest highs and your lowest lows. So it gives us a full picture of what's going on with your values. You want your A1C to be below 5.7%. And lastly, the most important test is the C-peptide test. This one measures your current levels of endogenous insulin production. How much insulin your pancreas is naturally producing right now. It's incredibly important. Without insulin, you can't manage your blood sugar levels properly. And the longer you live with insulin resistance, the root cause of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, the more damage that occurs to your beta cells that produce insulin. This diminishes your insulin production over time, which makes it harder to control your blood sugar. However, most people do have enough insulin production, and all they have to do is focus on becoming sensitive to insulin once again. A favorable C-peptide value that indicates enough insulin production is outlined in detail on our website. Comment test to receive this free article, which explains everything you need to know about the C-peptide test and how to get your level tested.